All right, if you are hosting or leading or co-leading um, a growth group for us, would y'all come on up on the stage with me so we can introduce your beautiful faces to everybody? Growth groups are getting started in two weeks, so the beginning, the week of September 24th is when growth groups will start. Don't we have a good, we've got a good bunch of people I'm super excited yeah. about. Yeah. Look at this group. Y'all try to be, with, you know, stand with your, with the people that you're with. You know what I mean? Love the one you're with, something like that. Okay, so, Michelle, will you go over there? With, yeah, all right. So I'm going to, what is happening? Oh, Todd. Yes, come on. You're, you're one of the fun parts of your group, Todd. you got to get on up here. Okay, so, and I just want to encourage you too, like, if there's not um, a category that you feel like you really fall into or whatever, just sign up for the one you want to go to, you know what I mean? So, this, none of these are like hard and fast rules as far as, on our group, I put parents of school age children, but if you have toddlers and that's the group you feel like you fall best into, sign on up, we, we want you, so... Um, this is my husband, Jeff, hanging over here. Um, Kyle and Kimberly Norman are going to host a group with us, and they're working in Gen Kids today. Uh, but they have um, a daughter in high school, one in elementary, and a toddler also. So, And both of our kids are in middle school right now. So we're kind of all right in the middle of the parenting gig, and I'm, I'm excited to have a group on in our house on Wednesday nights from 6.30 to 8. So drop your kids off at either Awana or Youth and get on to our house. I've been looking up recipes on Pinterest already <laughs> for treats that I can make to bribe you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Okay, so Jan and Mary are co-leading the women's only group, and Michelle's hosting it at her house. And so this is going to be a super fun group. So if you either are single, divorced, widowed, or your husband just doesn't want to go with you, <laughs> come on and sign up for the women's only group. They're, they're going to have a lot of fun, and I know that y'all will really enjoy it. You want to say anything? didn't think so. Okay. I know, but she loves me. <laughs> Stephen Donna Hill are hosting a group in their home, and they're leading with Dewey and Ellen Bateman. And of course, they're both um, married couples, but anybody is welcome to join their group. Their group is, oh, I'm sorry, the women's only group is meeting Tuesday nights from 6.30 to 8. Of course, all that information is on the insert in your bulletin and at the back of the room. Um, Stephen Donna Hill's group is meeting Tuesdays from 7 to 8.30. So if you have a hard time getting off work and getting somewhere by 6.30 or something, their group is meeting slightly later. So that might be a better option for you. And they're going to be a lot of fun too. I know y'all have a good time there for sure. Yeah. And then let's see, Jean, you can step forward a little bit. Jean is going to take over <laughs> the... Um, he's going to be the main leader of the men's only watermark group that meets on Mondays from 11.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. just during the lunch hour. And so he and Pastor Ed are going to work together for a while until the Lord speaks to one of you to be Gene's co-leader. But y'all will meet right here at the church. And so that's going to be a lot of fun too. Gene has just a really a heart for the Lord. I always enjoy visiting with him about scripture and everything. So you, that'll be a blessing to you men for sure. And we um, are having a college connection group. So we're really going after that age group of people for sure. And um, like Pastor Ed said, we're going to start trying to do some outreaches and stuff to pull some college students in. So whether you are um, an undergraduate, graduate, PhD or doctorate program. If you're involved in college in any way, we want to invite you to Jose and Dina Lopez's group. Um, they are going to host at their house as well, and Justin and Mercedes are going to help them. And that's going to meet on Thursday nights from 7 to 8.30. And I'm just super excited to see what, what God will do and pull, pull some people in that need to get planted in the house of God for sure especially you know that's a that's a difficult time of life whenever you're leaving home 
and learning to stand on your own two feet, learning, you know, what your personal convictions are going to be. And um, so I know they're really going to minister to some, some people for sure. So uh, our next, I think our final group is, everybody is welcome to this group as well. Michael and Mary Hickey are going to host it at their home, and they're going to be co-leaders with Todd and Mitzi James. And they're going to have a lot of fun as well. Now, Donna says that her group is called Old But Fun. But you don't have to be old to join their group but they are a lot of fun and this group is going to be a lot of fun as well so um Todd and Mitzi and Michael and Mary's group are meeting on Monday nights from 6 30 to 8 so we've tried to spread out the group so there's a time frame hopefully everybody can um can make work for your life and whatever your schedule is you know and uh, we are going to ask you to Make a commitment to one quarter. So if you sign up for a group, I mean, and we're, listen, we are going to make it easy. Our motto is going to be easy ins and easy outs. But we're going to ask you to commit to a quarter. Because if you don't make a commitment, you're probably not going to grow, you know. I mean, if, you're not, if you don't do something consistently, it's not going to be beneficial for your life. And so we are going to ask you to make a commitment to be to stick with your group for a quarter at the end of the quarter then we're going to do an evaluation from everybody and so you can say love this group want to stick with it or you can say i'd like to try another group you know try to find my these may not be my people i'd like to find find my people and so there's there's something for everybody and we definitely want you to get involved and i'm just excited to see you know what god is going to do in our church but also in in individual lives you know how he I, he wants us to go from glory to glory and if you've been stuck in your spiritual life for sure I mean this is a way that God wants to help you grow by putting you in community with people who can encourage you and lift you up when you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death you know and also so that you can really learn what does God's word say I mean we've all got to renew our mind we were talking this morning on the worship team most of our problem all of us is right between our ears and we have to renew our mind to what does God's word say about the situations that we're dealing with so that we know how to walk in victory and how we can live in peace even when our world is in chaos, you know. So we want that for each one of you. We want you to just make godly spiritual connections and friendships, and I'm just super excited what God will do. So y'all, please, um, please get involved, and give these guys a hands as, hand as they go. Thank you all so much. It's going to be good.